We've been streaming off and on for hours. Bilderberg has banned us from going to the Marriott days before the event. Total tyranny. Uh, massive stuff coming up. But Aaron, you're broadcasting live on Ustream, Infowars.com forward slash Bilderberg 2012. Please continue your rant. Now we're double streaming. I love it. But we're talking about the domination of Europe through the financial mechanism, and that is through the European Central Bank and, of course, the EU Parliament, which is not an elective body. It's just a dictatorial body. But you heard about how, quote, Goldman Sachs rules the world, uh, not only the leaders in Greece and all the other countries, but also people like Peter Sutherland of Ireland, uh, uh, Draghi at the European Central Bank and the EU, uh, all the EU figureheads, and on and on. The point is, Bilderberg started the European community, admittedly in secret, in the early 50s, at the very beginning of the Bilderberg meetings. They brought it, it's cut out again. Sorry, right, keep going. We're doing streaming from the road, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Jones signing off. For InfoWars.com, check out our drone shot down over Texas video. We are back on. It's going to cut in and out, but we're talking about again how Bilderberg started the Euro project and the Euro European community since the early 50s in secret. It started as a coal and steel agreement between countries, and gradually the news tightened until it was a formal binding uh, mechanism to unite Europe. All for the worst, because they only want to hold them hostage under the euro currency that Edna Davignon bragged that the Bilderberg Group set up in the early 90s. Well, yeah, they get you into a corporate agreement. They get you into a legal agreement and then engage in fraud through their traders that are operatives and infiltration in government. Yeah, and if they're set up like the United States, where each state has its own sovereignty, its own rights, we got broken glass even. If they're right. set up like the United States with separation of powers, with states' rights, that might be okay, but that's not what they've done in Europe. They want them all under the central control of these phony bodies that are not even elective. And again, Greece wants to leave the Euro. They want to keep them in, even if it means total austerity, total riots, total depression. They don't want them to give an example for other countries to get out. They want to be able to dictate everything to these countries. Well said, Aaron. What do you think of the phone call I got that you got to hear where they banned us from the Marriott? I think it's going to backfire. That kind of bad press is never going to work in their favor, but it shows their brazenness that they would... Well, yeah, they love that type of tyranny here. Yeah. And they do dirty tricks every year. Last year they had the bomb scare. Last year uh, an Italian member of... Fake fire alarms they blamed on us? Yeah, that happened in 2008. You better not steal vases and do fire alarm, you stinking American. <laughs> Get out of your own country. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and then last year in 2011 in Switzerland, an Italian member of the European Parliament tried to enter the meeting. Instead, they beat him to a bloody pulp, bashed in his nose. Uh, other members of the Swiss Parliament tried to get in. They were also refused, and they tried to raise uh, some issues on the Bilderberg meeting. For instance, they have a counterpart to the Logan Act, which present, prevents their officials from meeting in secret without official authority. Setting policy. Yeah. And they tried to hold their Swiss delegates uh, accountable. Who knows if it really put any real pressure on them, but at least it's the right idea. I want to mention one more time, I've said this on air recently, in 1976, the Bilderberg Group almost collapsed, almost had to quit. That doesn't mean the real power... That was over Lockheed Martin. Yeah, and Prince Barnhart, their founder, had to step down as chairman of Bilderberg, had to quit all his committees. That doesn't mean the real hidden power is ruined, but they have to empower their bodies, their vessels. They have to have delegates to go out in public. And if they get hurt, if they have pressure put on them, that does hurt the true power. And minions don't always carry things out properly. And again, they ended the meeting early last year in 2011. There were so and fled. Helicopters landing. They are pissed. Keep going, Aaron. But it's one thing to show up at Bilderberg and, and protest against that as a symbol. What you also need to do is read the membership list, look up what, what are these companies they're part of, what are the things they've been doing in the news, what are the projects they're working on. It's very important. You'll learn a lot, and you'll help us expose what's really going on.